my senior. That's what I say in the beginning of all of my videos. I say your. I say your house. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> your hi friends. Yeah, my <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's me with my grandma. So a couple weeks ago, I put on my IG story, what questions do you want to hear from my grandmother? And y'all sent me a lot of questions for this young lady. So I'm gonna <laughs> So I'm gonna have her answer the questions for you guys. Make sure you like, comment. I mean, you got something to like the video? Yes. Comment. Yes. They gotta follow me. Yes. And they gotta follow me on all my other stuff too. My TikTok, my Instagram, yes. everything, right? Everything. And her body too. Follow my body. Oh, I got the questions on my grandma's phone. And I'm gonna ask you, and don't be fresh. Okay. Ma? Okay, I said, I said, right. I said, okay. Where were you born and raised? Puerto Rico. Where? Well, San Juan. Okay. I was born in San Juan. Okay. And um, we moved to San Dulce, La Quince. Here, La Quince. I wanna ask her what she looks for in a good man. A man who work. Okay. Bring the money to the house for the food and for everything. Okay. Like my father. A provider. A provider completely. Okay. But and the woman thing. stay home and do all the work. So a woman should take care of the house and a man should provide? Yes. Okay. Fine. Or fashion. How old were you when you lost your virginity? 21. What do you want me to do? I was scared of every man. <laughs> Why are you losing younger? Why do I have to do a younger? So you get a head start on the... No, no, no. I was 21 and, and, and there was the father or, or my kids. My grandfather? Yeah. I don't even know how to kiss. And he come and try me to force open my mouth to put his thumb in my teeth. I said, no, 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 no. He said, you don't know how to kiss. I said, I don't kiss nobody. <laughs> That's right. You don't know how to kiss, mom? No. So you don't know how to... Uh... No, nothing like that. Would you date a 49-year-old man? No. What's the youngest you would date? 75. 75 is the youngest? Yeah. <laughs> and I want to keep him. What? What's your favorite thing to do with me? Play and laugh. Listen to music. Listen to music. If they're talking about me. Talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all wonder who I get my mouth from? Huh, how did we get so close? I can answer a little piece. So, growing up, my mother and my father always worked. Always worked. So I was always with my grandmother. You always were here. Always here, and if my grandmother had to work, I was going to work with her. So my, I was yes. always with my grandmother. Yes. My father and, and my mother always worked, and, so I was always with my grandmother. And anytime we were going out with your father, I had to do the hair every day. Uh, and my grandmother would really dress me, do my hair, everything. When I was six, she would take care of me when I got the chicken pox. My father yeah. never had the chicken pox. They put me on a little bed in my grandmother's room. My grandmother took care of me. Yeah. And I had them everywhere. She had to put, what's that pink lotion? The calamine lotion? Yeah, the calamine She had to put lotion. it everywhere on me. And I was sticky and I hated it. You hated it, but it, it was better for you because nope. you keep been getting better. Yeah. No, she and, took care of me. And you got, you got so much. So that everywhere. was your mother and your father didn't want to go. In. in cambio, me, I was sleeping in that room with you. Yeah, because you love me. Because I'm your favorite. Yeah, you're my granddaughter. The first one. The first one I've seen. The best one. <laughs> I'm the best one for you. Next to me. No. No. She's next to me. Yo primero. No. Yo primero. No. Yo. I'm first. Okay. I'm first. Okay. And they have all the family. How did you meet my grandfather? The second part is, does she still get along with him? My grandfather passed away before he I was born. Away. Yeah. When my father was, what, three? Uh, what? How old was daddy when grandpa passed away? I think no, he was he little. Was about two. Two, three? Yeah, yeah he, he was knows. little. Yeah. Yeah. Bueno, but I mean him when I was taking the train to go to work. I got three jobs. And this handsome man that was looking at me every day. And later there was this old man looking at me too. Oh my God. Part of my kids was more tall. Oh my God. He got so many muscles. They are going, I went crazy. I but, see. Yes. That was love and the first and sight. Yes. We were like that for months, for months. Getting the soul away, getting off, getting the soul away, getting off, getting the soul away. One time he get out and talk to me. He was so scared to talking to me because I never laughed. And he, he said, oh, excuse me. Serious face. Yeah. Like me. He said, excuse me. I said, yes. I said, um, 
where, what stop you get out? I said, I get out on Union Street. So he said, I'm going to get out there. We, we talked a little bit. I said, well, why? I said, well, why? I want to talk to you. I don't know you. So he said, oh, no, no, I know that you don't know me. I just want to talk to you. And that way, you know me and I know you. I said, for a while, I don't know you for. And he, why are you just so upset? He kept been talking to me and talking to me. Listen, I talked to that, that guy for four months, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Then he said, listen, I love you, and I'm going to go to your father, and I'm going to ask for your hand. I said, what? Just like that? Just like that. I said, my father going to throw you out. <laughs> I said, and he went. One Sunday, we was, I was with my father, and I was going to say, mm, they're not. Mm -mm. And when I looked, and told him, I said, oh, my God. I said, what are you, what are you doing here? I tell you that I love you and I'm going to talk to your father. Oh he spoke to Papa? Yeah, my, my father said, who is in the door? What did Papa say? I say, oh, it, it's somebody that I know when I'm going to work every day and like that. he wanted to talk to you. So I let him go in the living room, sit down next to my father. And my father said why he wanted to go into the house. And he said, because I just love your daughter, and I want your permission to come and see her in the weekend. I was in the kitchen. <laughs> and how old were you? What do you, how, what do you think I, I was? Mm, 20. I was 20 years old. You grown. Papa so, can't say nothing to you grown. No, I love my father. I do everything my father say. I know, but mommy, think of you grown. 20 years old, you grown. You have three jobs. You could go on a date at a different time. Different time. You know, okay. my father said no, I never see him. But your but papa say yes. Yeah, that he could come and see me every Saturday. And my father sitting down in the living room next to us. Like a chaperone? Yes. This is the first time I ever heard this story. I just want y'all to know that. I never knew none of this. My oh. father stay over there. He's sitting down one chair and me and another one. And I said, oh my God. See, I would just sit there and look at each other. I wouldn't even talk. Because, yeah, we don't even talk that much because he, he talk like English, so. You know my father, so. Papa didn't like English. So they just watched TV. And I'm dying to be that hour, two hours, my father said he could leave. <laughs> you wanted to get it over with? Yeah, I want him to leave. Get out of my house. How do you stay so young? Well, I never wear makeup, just eye makeup. And, and here, the red thing, I put the lipstick on my mother. Blush? Lipstick. I never, the brush, I never. Use that thing that you use. I what? don't use blush. Lipstick, lipstick. Listen to me right now. Everywhere. My grandmother's my grandmother had a red lipstick that I stole from her and I still have it in my house. I never <laughs> I'm never giving it back. It's a Jordan Jordana lipstick. And the one time I was going to a club when I lived here, she was like, You gonna go outside like that? You look ugly. I was like, I look ugly? Yeah, you need blush, you need lipstick. So she came in, she put it on my cheeks, she put the red lipstick on my cheek like a blush. She put, she gave me the red lipstick. She said, take it with you so you can put it back on. I want my lipstick back. I never gave her her lipstick. I still got it in my house to this day. But that's something that I, I'm never going to get rid of. My first red lipstick, I took from her. Yeah. That was my first lipstick ever. I stole your lipstick, ma. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I know you're, you're always been looking at me when I put my lipstick. My lipstick and my, uh, my eyes to go to work. And you're always like, oh, man, I don't wait. To be young and that way I could put my makeup. My father was very strict. When I was younger, he wouldn't even let me wear dresses a lot. Like I always had to dress like covered up. He didn't want me like to a be boy. like a boy. He didn't want me to be grown. He didn't want me to be like these other girls. Even stuff like going to the store. I couldn't go to the store by myself till I was like no. 13, 14 years old. My grandmother, like when I see her get all dolled up and put on her dresses and my cousins putting on all their girly clothes and I'm just sitting here looking like a damn boy. Like, like a lot boy. <laughs> You know, big, big and the, pants and, and the and big pants and the big jersey, the basketball shirts. Yankee, Yankee, oh my God. I used to have God. baseball jerseys my, and my hair was braided. Uh, sometimes people would ask me, yo, is that a girl or a boy? Because my hair was braided. I never wore makeup and I was just like a boy. Yeah. So that's why my grandmother put barrettes so these people would know that and I'm that a girl. And that way they know you was, yeah, you be a gay. I'm the cutest grandchild you got. You know. Better than all of them. What's your favorite place in the whole wide world? Your favorite place? In the whole wide world. My house. Your house? She's been here 35 years? Yeah. She moved in here the year before I was born. I was born 87. She moved into this apartment in 86. Oh, she said, no question, but I love you, ladies. I love you, too. I love you. Mommy, what's your favorite thing about me? That you fresh like me. 
and you like men like me, I'm all for them to like men. I am not no fresh. I'm not fresh. Whatever they come into my mind, I said it. And you don't shut up with that mouth. I get my like mouth from me. you. I get I'm my mouth from you. I'm for it. You know how a, a, a man can have a son and that be his junior? Yeah. I'm your junior. I'm Saida <laughs> Junior. <laughs> Because people right. me, if people know my grandmother and then they see me, they be like, oh my God, you just like your grandmother. You look just like her. You talk just like her. You, your, your mouth, your mouth, your mouth. Her. Yeah. And you loud. Very loud. So I get it from you. Mommy, what do you say to the people that say, can you be their grandmother? I don't know if it's your grandmother alive or she's dead. But if it's your grandmother is alive, try to spend time with her. Mm -hmm. Make her laugh. If they pull listy or pull a crazy outfit and say, say look at grandma, like I do. And, and make sure you check on your grandmother. And you check on your Always check on your grandmother. Always. Anytime you come to the door, you will say something crazy or she says something crazy to you. Always. And that's the best time. And even if you can't go, call. It don't yeah. pick, pick up the phone, call. And go and say, I love your grandma. Yep. Let me say something right now. If I don't call her, she will call me, curse me out. Oh. Okay, so you are All the time, you don't pick up the phone, you don't call me. But when I die, you better not cry. And then they'll be like, your mom just spoke to you. I don't give a check. Yeah, I don't. Uh Oh, mommy, they want to know what's your zodiac sign. Aquario. 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 Like the sea, and so calm down. But if you mess it up with me, I'll drown you in one second. They want to know how old are you, mommy? 74 going 75 she said how old is she i love y'all so much your grandmother literally makes me laugh every day <laughs> how was i growing up out of all your grandkids they asked how was oh. sam when she was growing up oh let me hear Samantha? you go ahead lie lie right now let me no, hear the weapon yeah yeah don't, you, you don't need a weapon you go i mess you you up <laughs> and you know i mess you i used to be scared i'm still scared to this day there yeah, yeah i'm so listen samantha we all my granddaughter here, Samantha always nice because she was like scared about me. I don't know why, because I never hear her. One your, time I hear her. Your voice is like, no, let me tell you something. It's because you like daddy. Yeah. Your voice is like a knife. So when you yell, it's like I'm being stabbed. I don't <laughs> like to be yelled. And y'all yell all the time. All yeah. the time. Be, Carajo! Da, da, da. No, I don't know. No, no. No, no. You, know you don't know what it is. And you don't. I was scared to death. You, my grandmother knows her house like the back of her hand. She can have something here, and if you move it, if you move uh, it. I know. A pinch. Who was touching my chain? Carajo! If I put my pussy on the table, I wanna see you touch yeah. it. But you know what? What? Samantha was very good and everything. But when we stand to do the hair, Samantha was crying for two hours. She didn't want to do her hair because you used to be rough. Because you used to cry. You used you, to be rough. And I said, you want to cry? Now go ahead, cry. And you used to hard. be rough. Yeah. And I, I, would be, to... I would be falling asleep while she was doing my hair. It would be, she used to have this little yellow chair. Remember the little yeah, yellow the chair? Yellow chair. So I would sit under the yellow chair, and she would sit on a big chair behind me, and I'd be like this, in her lap, going to sleep. Or I'd be like this, falling asleep. She'd say, say straight, say straight. It would take hours, because my grandmother would do the teeniest, tiniest, this, like, perfect box this. braids. It wasn't like no big chunky. No, no. she would no. do the tiniest, and yeah, the yeah, lines yeah. were always so neat. I would get compliments on my hair all the time. I would go to school. Who does your hair? My grandmother. Your grandmother does your hair. My grandmother braids my hair. What's your favorite part about being an abuela? My grandkids. We all different though. All your grandkids is none of no, us are the no, same. But when you were younger, the thing I take you to the park. She used, used to, to go on the island. We used to go. My grandmother I, literally would have all of us here. It would be all of us here. Me, Carolyn, yeah. Sade, Kayla, Emily. All of us were here. It would be it's summertime, the whole summer, we always here. Weekends, yeah. we always here. It was never a time that you didn't have one of your grandkids here. Yeah. And then when Don Trees came, it was all of us again. Yeah. And then always. baby Rob. It, yeah. Always. We were always in this house. Like, my sister Sade took her first steps over there. Yeah. Then she cracked her head on your old table. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Don't be. <laughs> um, my grandmother used to have two beds in the room, and I was flipping on them. Boom, I fell. Had a big yeah. dead thought coming out of my forehead. This apartment has a lot of memories. That's why she don't want to leave, but... No, I don't. I'm going to kidnap you. I know. I want all my granddaughter to be young again. Babies. No, I don't want to be a baby. No, I want you to be a baby I don't want to be a baby. I'm a big girl now. So, I could do what carajo. I Carajo. Don't say carajo to me. Get a baby. Get pregnant. No. 
for a while. You don't like to. Mm, mm, I like mm, to, mm, 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 but I don't want to mm, have a baby. Mm, mm, that, mm, mm, the baby gonna break my toto. So, that's nice when it break. I don't want them to break my toto. Yeah, it, it took me two days for for my husband to go in because when the, I I hit the I feel pain, I put him away. Come on, you put that shit in there. <laughs> Think about you and Grandpa having babies. What made you move to New York? Oh, my sister. Which my big sister, she was dying. She was very sick. Mm -hmm. That's why my father took me out of school. And the next, the same day, took me out of school and put me in the airplane and said, and this is my daughter and she's leaving. She's going to New York. That's it. And you never went back to live? You mm -hmm. were visit, but you never went back to live? No, because my sister keeping getting worse and worse, so I had to get a job to hope I because. It's a question. Would you rather live in Puerto Rico or New York? Well, no, um, if my sister didn't get sick, I was planning to finish my school and everything in Puerto Rico. Because I, I, I already got money to my family, to give my father to be um, a designer, you know, because mm -hmm. I like the clothes. It is sad or to be um to be in the army. I love the army. Oh man. No oh man, you just wanna be around the men in uniform. No, my brother was in the army, that's why I love the army. I worked in the US Marine for my mother for years. So my English came from over here, not from here. Oh, so you already knew English when you came? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Look at me, I'm learning stuff about you. I didn't, I, I never need an interpreter when I came here. Yeah, you know. The, the only thing, the, the people correct me like a long time when they say water over there in Puerto Rico is water. Water, water. is water. Yeah. So my I, I don't know none of this. I'm learning stuff about this lady yeah. today. All right. Mommy, it says, how do you feel about Samantha's tattoos? I hate them. I never liked them. He tried to get me before she would say things to get a garden tattoo. I hate the tattoo. But a woman is pretty, don't need no tattoo. <laughs> they, they, just need, they just need, you know, the hole in the middle, a fish the face, and that's it. And the titty. Because we know titty, forget it. I got serious. They hate you need tattoo for. <sighs> Oh, okay, so would you be mad if I got a tattoo on my face? Listen, if you get a tattoo on your face, you get it on from here. <laughs> because I'm gonna get a nice hot and I'm gonna put it You're in your face. You're gonna burn me? Yeah. You would burn me? Yes, I do. That's dangerous. If, if you want to do a tattoo, do it in you know where. I'm not doing I don't it. see it there. I'm not doing it nowhere down there. No. No yeah. way. Over there, you're gonna do it. Over there. This is the the last question. I already read it. It's um, how do you feel about being popular now on social media like TikTok and everything, and people seeing you and recognizing you? I feel okay, but sometimes I just <laughs> I say, excuse me. Oh, see, you. I see you. <laughs> so when people get excited to see you, you get like yeah, and so, uh, me, I say no, you, you, you. I said, okay, thank you. Well, I always be funny anyway. Uh, and people always like me when I walk in the street to she's go to work. Spicy. And you get jealous. It's not jealous. I don't want men speaking to you. I don't care if you speak to women and laugh and joke, no problem. It's the dirty old men. I don't. No, they like. wasn't that dirty old men. They, they were was young dirty. men too. Yes. And the, remember the Italian man with the muscles? He used to wear yeah. He was handsome. He was handsome. I don't remember his name, but he went to, we went to Coney Island one time yeah. with him. I liked yeah. him. Because he was respectful. He was respectful. It was one time he said, can I hold, he said, can I hold her hand? He asked me if he could hold your hand. The other freck come in, they be like, I, who the hell, what is, why are you making that sound to my grandmother? Why, I don't know. No, exactly. I, 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 I didn't tell him to, to make that sound. They dirty old men and I don't like them. And you ain't going to have no and men. And you're always fighting. You're always, always fighting. I don't care. Every day. Every day. Because men, they look at me because I am so cute. I am so cute. So she was jealous. She was. I'm telling you, she was jealous. That's all the questions for today because she's getting me upset. <laughs> Make sure you comment, subscribe, like the video. All of my other social handles will be down below. If there's a question that we didn't answer, type it down below and we do a part two.
If the, there's more questions? Yeah. She said below. You know where's below, right? Where's below, mommy? Where's below? Down there. <laughs> Say, so now when I end my videos, I go. Grrr. No, mommy. Grrr. Grrr. Oh. <laughs> I don't, excuse me. You gotta roll I your don't tongue. like, I, I don't know how to move her tongue like, like her. If I knew it, I got so many men follow me everywhere. Mommy, go grrr, bow. Grrr, <laughs> bow. Bow, bow. Grrr, 